from Nathan, subject briefing, hello. A few hours ago we received an anomalous call from uh, someone reporting an abandoned car with a lot of blood next to it. You know what that means, investigate the crime scene after the drive around the area, use your map, talk to the people, ask if they've seen anything weird. If you encounter a mimic, neutralize it with your firearm. Do not get cornered, mimics are highly uh, trained predators, good luck. They, uh, kind regards Nathan. How do I get out of this? And I just realised probably reading this as I'm driving in a squad car probably shouldn't be a good idea. I say squad car with confidence. Uh, that's the map. Can I get out of this please? I appear to be stuck in the menu. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, never mind. I'm, I'm driving. Okay, so we stopped. That's okay. That makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Uh, I don't know if I should click on that because I'll probably just dot there, can't we? Look, yeah, I've, got, I've, got, I've got to slow down, alright. Got it. Just gonna see if I could like send myself at like 60 miles an hour out of my car. Uh, F to use flashlight. Oh, there's actually a pretty decent flashlight too. Uh, good evening, sir. So, what have we got here? Aban an abandoned car. A lake of blood and nobody. And no valuables are missing. You should probably uh so probably a mimic doing this work. Yes, I think that's obvious. Uh the car was smoking when I arrived here. I think the victim was driving up this road and had to stop because of an engine issue. Engine? Engine, sorry I can't talk. The victim called roadside assistance while a mimic was hiding behind a bush. That thing was probably one of the big ones. Uh, the huge footprints in front of the car. She did not have a chance. How old is the victim? Uh, 37 years old, according to her ID. Is this area known for mimic activity? No, not at all. But it seems like they're expanding their territory. That's not a good sign. I bet the fucker is still close. Probably someone in the woods digesting her. Yeah, the longer we spend this dialogue is the longer she's going to get eaten. So, you know, get it off your chest whilst you can, buddy. <laughs> uh, you uh, said to take care of it? There's a car going up and down, so at least this road isn't completely dead. Uh, yes, that's why I'm here. I'm tasked with finding it and neutralizing it. You'll drive around the area and ask someone has uh, seen something suspicious. Uh, sounds like a plan. You have a map of the area on your laptop, right? That I do, because I checked that before I arrived. Don't worry, I had an, equi an, an equipment check. Jesus. Um, yes, I have a map. Sounds good. If you want to take uh, the car and have a look at the crime scene, you can, in case I missed anything. Uh, will do. See you back at the station. Stay safe. Yeah, hopefully see you back at the station. Right, let's have a look. Okay, lots of blood, not a single piece of flesh. Okay. Uh, what about this? Handbag of the victim, nothing was stolen. Well, that's good at least. If you do find her, at least you can have all the belongings back. Cigarette is still warm. Looks like it was the victim's last one. Uh, the huge footprint probably belongs to the mimic. I don't really see a foot. Ah, there we are. Never mind. I was gonna say I don't see a footprint, but it's actually quite obvious when you actually look at it for more than two seconds. Uh, what's this in here? Victim's car. Staying inside would have been safer. Yep, more than likely. Oh, I'm stuck on something. There we are. All right, see you at the back of the station, then, lad. Uh, is this your squad car? Oh yeah. I keep calling them squad cars. I don't even know if that's the correct terminology. <laughs> Highway patrol. Man, I would have loved to be a police officer. But unfortunately, I have medical issues. Right, let's have a look at the map. Where are we? Um, I have no idea where we are, so... Cool. Right, so, operation is just drive around and see... I, my mirrors are useless. Uh, see if we find what we are looking for. It looks like a fuel station up ahead. Um, wait until we get closer. It is indeed a fuel station. There we are. Uh, my car is still rolling. Stop, stop rolling. There you go. 
Alright, here we are. Uh, I probably shouldn't have leave my lights on, but I suppose if this guy doesn't take five years talking to me, my battery should be fine. Um, hello. What can I do for you, sir? Uh, there was a mimic attack just down the road. Damn. That's bad for business. It is indeed. And also, I just want to say, I was meant to say this a while ago, but I kind of got enveloped in reading. It is super casual <laughs> that the fact that mimics are just a thing. <laughs> and I kind of like that. It, but it does, um, unfortunately, make it a little bit more uh, not as scary, because everyone seems to know it. But then again, I haven't seen it, so I'm going to hold that statement in the air that could be pre uh, retracted. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, do you know of anything that could help me with the search? I haven't noticed anything weird so far. Everything is just as always. Uh, really? Nothing at all? No. Only thing I know is that you should be very careful. Nowadays, they're extremely good at pretending to be human. Don't worry, I'm professional at spotting mimics. I took a entity exam not that long ago. I probably shouldn't be spilling this information just to just a regular member of the public, but oh well. Um, <laughs> fuck me, I guess, am I right? Anyway, but they're not too hard to distinguish. Even the hard ones are not that bad. Um, they're more dangerous than ever. People say that they're evolving and learning from humans. That's not a good sign. Uh, thanks. But that is information that I already... Was over, but <laughs> that information is already known to us. Now, I don't even know if that was written down because I didn't even look at the screen when I finished that off. But oh well. Anyway, thanks. Uh, don't you want to buy something or fill your car, sir? I'm good, thanks. Oh. Good luck with the search, officer. And good luck with business, good sir. Um, my eye is watering, so I'm going to deal with that. <laughs> and I also should have probably grabbed a drink before this recording, because I am really thirsty, and I really hope that isn't reflecting on the microphone. So if this video is, like, rammed to the brim of noise suppression, I do apologize, that's because my dry ass mouth uh, I did not mean to click W then, my finger just kind of went off on its own. Alright, so we are down here in the fuel station. I have no idea where I came from on the crosser. I'm assuming I came up from here, because the road goes that way. So what I'm going to do is just make a circle, I think. Uh, right, let's see if I can actually translate that out into the actual road. So I think that's where I came from over there. So that is the direction I'm going to go. Down the road we go. It's actually quite um, peaceful so far. I have a little map right about here. What map that I can see? Okay, so this is another location. Oh, I can turn the lights off in the car. Okay. Oh, I already like this game already. It's massively immersive. I appreciate that. I don't even know if I park straight. Uh, forgive me if my parking is terrible because I only ride a motorcycle. Uh, there we go. A little bit wonky, but we're fine. Right out, let's see who we can find in here. Use some WD 40 on the door, my dude. Or not, actually, because if you're asleep and some intruder comes in, that is least unexpected. I suppose you would hear them, at least. Maybe don't. What is, I don't say what's wrong with your face, but I probably shouldn't open up with that. Uh, may I help you, sir? I'm here because of mimic activity down the road. Do you have anything that could help me? Uh, mimic, you say? Damn. I just hope I'll never meet one of those things. I myself haven't noticed anything weird. Uh, but the farm east from here, maybe they can help for more than I do. I did not read that correctly, but oh well. Um, you could do also follow the road up north. There is an area that is used for camping. All right, thank you for your time. Well, that was quick and easy. Um, can I take this key? No. I'm gonna actually smash myself in the face with my door first and foremost. But I'm actually going to have a look around the area. Oh, that's not fucking freaky at all, is it? 
hope you're not naked or uh, doing any jerking motions because um, I'm peering through your windows and or anything of the equivalent. But there's got to be a jump scare in these, right? I'm going to investigate the area, but I was actually might want to finish off what I was trying to say first. Um, but if there is nothing interesting here, well, we would have, they probably would, I probably would have edited, I'll get the fucking words out eventually. Um, I probably would have just cut to me being in the car, so. Nope, nothing here. Anything out in the, uh, spying on me in the woods? Nope. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. Righto. Right, so we can go right and I believe there's an area down there we can go straight up there. I think I'll do a circling motion first. Before I uh up down the streets. Let's have a look at the map, let's see. So we're here in the motel. So if we go up and around, we go to the camping spot, then the cabin. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll go up, camping spot, cabin. Even though the road clearly isn't designed for me to come that way, but I'm, the, I'm a police officer, I can do whatever the fuck I want. And down here, and over here. Also, that sounded rather more, like, asshole-ish than I intended that sentence to be. That was not what I meant. Um, and assuming, if I remember right, yeah, it's just like, oh, wrong side of the road. Well, where I live is the right side of the road, but um, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> I don't care as long as I've got a steering wheel in front of me and I'm driving and cruising along. It doesn't matter to me. It's just like all over a minute. But it's soaking the atmosphere. Damn. Any mimics out here? Mimics? Guess not. I really badly want to explore the woods, but I don't have a massive amount of time to actually do this video because I am in the middle of moving currently. Um, so I do have to get on with it, sadly enough. So if there is some sort of jump scare or death or whatever out there, I won't be experiencing it. That's why I leave games like this in the description for you guys to go and play it. It is a longer drive to get to the government station, I must admit. Keep an eye out, make sure nothing's in there. Charge out from the side of me. I think that's caps on the left there. Let's see if we can find some parking. We're just planning out right here. Yeah, that looks good. I think we're off the road, yep. Let's go. Let's check with the people in the trailer. Interesting. Anybody in the tent? Oh, that is a cool last tent, though. Anyway, let's, uh... Hello? Someone in there? What do you want? I'm a police officer. I'm here to investigate a mimic-related incident. Can I talk to you for a second? We can talk, but I'll keep the door closed for my own safety. Uh, that's not an issue. So, you know, anything that could help me out? No. Not me, but there's a homeless guy. Last night he came up to my tent, wanted some change. He said some stuff about hearing screams coming from the woods. I thought he was bullshitting me, or that he was on something. Anyways, anyway, if you want to talk to him, just follow the road eastward. Uh, will do. Thank you for your time. Stay safe, officer. I will. I sure as shit try. Um, right, he said road to the east. Check my destination on. Uh, so a camping ground, cabin. But yeah, so my next stop will be the cabin. Just got to look out for another turnout. 
So the interior in this car is really nice. And let's go. This car in general is just really nice. It's a shame it's an automatic, but to be fair, it's American, and I believe all police cars in America are automatic. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, hi. Stay there, sir. I don't know if I want to get out of my car. But I'm gonna. Hello? Got any spare change, officer? Oh, you're the homeless guy. Uh, sure. Here, take this. Thank you so much. I don't know what that fucking accent is. I'm not doing that again. I'm here investigating, or to investigate a mimic report. Do you have anything to help me out? A mimic? Oh, that's bad. Really bad. You hear screams sometimes. At night. Do you see the road going up there? I think there's a house. And? Screams were coming from there. I think. You should take a look. I guess I'll have to. Thanks, uh, make sure to stay out of trouble. I will, officer. Let's have a look at your feet. Alright, they don't match the description of those boots. I don't know if he means up there, because that seems ominous and absolutely fucking horrifying. But I don't know if there's anything down there. Let's have a quick look on the map. Uh, right, so, cabin is down here. Right, so there's absolutely nothing up here. But I haven't been to the farm or the trailer park, though. You know, because the cabin's right there. I really hope I don't miss too much of the game. Because um, the cabin's right there, I'm going to go up and investigate. Only because I am suppressed the time, unfortunately. Oh yeah, this, this this seems like somewhere where you would drag a victim. Mimic or otherwise. You know what, we're gonna keep the lights on. If not, to hopefully blind the, the enemy, if not. Hello? Uh, this is police officer Spartan Ghost. I said that. Because that didn't sound like a fucking mimic. Nobody in their right sanity human mind would sound like that. I've got a Glock of some sort, probably 18 or 17. And I'm not afraid to blast your ass into next week. Assume left click is to fire. Soon find out when a gun doesn't shoot. Should have seen if I could bring my card on here. Run it the fuck over. Or like, shoot it from a window or something. <laughs> oh yeah, that does not sound human. I mean, it didn't anyway, but... I am getting closer. I'm an officer of the law and I know no fear. I do apologize if you hear a dog barking in the background. It's not part of the experience. Ambush me. Oh, come on, you fucker, right here. Whoa. Oh, 
on, Ed. Let's go. What are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> you didn't survive the mimic encounter. Oh. Mimic search. Damn it. I feel like I could have survived that if I tried hard enough. Hang on, let's check if, um, if you click play. Or does it start from the beginning again? It starts from the beginning again, damn it. But I don't even know if you can actually kill the Mimic or not. Let's, like, pull over and do our outro. But I don't know if you can kill the Mimic or not, but I... Actually, I can't see anything. I tried my damnedest. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed um, Mimic Search. Um, the game will be in the description as it is always um, if you guys want to play it for yourself and see if you can take on the horrifying creature that is the mimic. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you guys in whatever the hell comes up next. Have a good one.